hello good day everyone and welcome to another video on my programming series my name is cynthia if you're coming across this channel for the very first time please do it to subscribe and like this video and drop a comment on today's video i'll be designing a wordpress website yeah i decided to double into wordpress web designing recently well actually i'm a web developer a front-end web developer and i think i'm actually going to stick to that than WordPress web designing. You would find out why I said that at the end of this video. Today, I'll be carrying out one of the tasks that was given to us, which is to design a WordPress website. So this is my WordPress backend dashboard. And this is where all the magic is going to be happening. For you to be watching this video, that means you already have an idea of WordPress web design. So I won't go into details about the whole backend and all of this stuff. So yeah, these are the pages I've already created. And for this website, I'll be editing with Elementor. I'm using Elementor Page Builder, which is quite popular and rampant. That's like maybe the easiest ones that people use. So yeah, that's what I'll be using for this website. I already kind of started the work before I said this screenshot. So bear with me, but I would do where to put you guys along on how we got to where we are at right now. So yeah, the website I'm building is called The Cynthia's Designs and i'm just basically more like a portfolio a website for myself where i basically showcase my works and the things that i do right so my problem with wordpress and elementor and all those stuff is that it limits you so much it limited me to so many designs the fact that i have to buy things the fact that i have to update to pro before you can use some pages and some design and some effects but yeah, this is what the website looks like on a real website, like on a web, what am I saying? On Chrome, yes, on Chrome. This is what the website looks like on Chrome. And yeah, ignore whatever it is that you're thinking right now. I just wanted to try it out. This is like my first work on Elementor and web design, not development. So yeah this is what we are at right now i have only designed the home page and now i'm about to start the about us page so i'll just go back to my elementor page builder and open up my about page section and design it. honestly i don't have any exciting or very creative design of what i want to do i just want to get done with it and just be able to create something right so first things first, I'll change the settings of my page to Elementor Canvas and hide this title just so that this title will not be displaying double on my website. I don't know if you can understand what I mean. But I don't want about to be on display when the person already knows the person's on about page. So which is what basically I did here before I started the entire website. So quick one guys, I encountered like some difficulties while right? trying to create the header for this website and then just got me like thinking this is just navbar if you are a developer, front end developer, this is just navbar, why did it take me so much time? Like literally all the features of this Elementor, it's on Pro, like you can see that padlock, it means that they're on Pro. Literally, even the nav section, the menu, everything thing that we're not pro is just text, images, and video, just the basic things. But anything that would enhance your website is on pro. I decided to also check templates, they are like the library where you could see like blogs and pages. Everything, every single section is on pro. And it got me wondering because ordinarily, like websites like this or softwares that offer this kind of services, right? they have like at least one two or three free versions even though it won't be as unique and as functional as the paid version which is why we make you to pay or which is what will prompt you to pay but literally every page every block is on pro i only saw one block that was not on pro a bit too and i just felt like these are things i could design myself using javascript html css bootstrap and i'm good even react so like why am i going to have to pay 
for just the basics like it will just didn't make sense to me it just didn't make sense to me and which is why i just left me and had to do with what i had and after much hustle i was able to create this about us page as you can see up there i already added the header or the number that i created myself which was okay it was functional and that was all that mattered right that's me an image of my beautiful self <laughs> allow me to be vain for a moment but yeah And finally, I'm done with the contact us page. I'm done with the website. The website is live and it's working, it's functional, which is the main basics of everything. And you know, have uh, the colors, I maintain the colors. And in as much as it's not very complex and well detailed, it still works, right? So, right now, I'm just going to to add all my social media like handles to this website so basically i'm functional on linkedin and on instagram so i'm just going to add all my social media links i'll just copy the links from my linkedin profile and add it to the footer or the contact us section whatever it is that you call it and yeah please do it connect with me on linkedin at cynthia umachine or just cynthia Uma, basically yeah you would see me there and this is the contact us page this is where i want to try it out so i would go to this linkedin section and find the link there such that if you click this link when i'm done adding it if you click this image or this logo of linkedin you would it will take you directly to my linkedin page right so yeah that's what i wanted to do and then also that i'll do the same process that i did for my linkedin for my instagram account so and yeah i know i don't talk much about my social media platforms but yeah do want to follow me on Instagram. I post lovely content. I'm a content creator. So yeah, you should expect more. So yeah, this is what my page looks like at Cynthia Neye. So yeah, do want to follow me on Instagram too. I post the really cute pictures. <laughs> yeah, these are for bands. But yeah, I post really cute pictures and videos and quotes and memes. And I would add the same link to my Instagram logo on my website. So I would duplicate the same process for all the other pages but i'm just going to show where i'm doing it on this contact us page after that i'll publish it and once i'm done publishing i would go there right now and if i click on any of those links it will take me to my social media pages which is actually really 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 nice and cute right so yeah thank you so much for watching this video i know i ranted a whole lot about wordpress and elementor but yeah that's my personal experience again experiences by differ and it's okay if you like wordpress i'm not here to say it's not nice i just don't feel like it's for me right i think i'm more of the code girl than this so yeah thank you so much do I check out the website it's live actually for a month so yeah thank you and see you guys in another video bye